The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 46. Get the Nasdaq up 20. S&Ps are up 6.5. Gold contract uh, trading up a buck at uh, 12.10. You get silver up 14 cents, $16.66 an ounce. The, uh, I got to check this. Uh, let me, I think I got the wrong contract up here for oil. So oil, where is she? Okay, so oil's trading, uh, where is she? There she is. Uh, 40. Nope, it's jumping around. Uh, it is jumping around. 48.30. Uh, oil's trading at uh, 48.30. I'll change that contract. Oil goes uh, month by month, um, contract wise. You get the uh, bonds, the 10 year note up by three ticks, 125.20. 30 year bond up eight ticks. Uh, good old King Dollar uh, down uh, 28 ticks, 101.09. The Euro's at 106. The Yen's at 111. And uh, bottom line, uh, okay, so reminder, both oil and gas report tomorrow morning. Oh, That so must be they bump up natural gas because Thursday, Thanksgiving. That's going to be wild, man. <laughs> that's 10.30 tomorrow morning, folks, uh, no doubt. Now, now, check this out. Okay? I was just looking at Walmart, right? Because this is getting kind of bizarre as the aspect of um, what goods we're actually buying out there. You know, so you, you had the scandal, or we still have the scandal on, about the sheets, okay? So the sheets at Walmart or Target, the largest maker in the world, they've been selling these as Egyptian cotton, and they find out they're not Egyptian cotton. And you're talking okay. about hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? okay. Now, it comes out this morning, I'm reading this this morning, I'm saying to myself, you're gonna be kidding me, man. So check this one out, folks. This is intense. So, now, <laughs> aloe, aloe, aloe vera? Yeah, aloe right? vera. Aloe vera, right? Um, Walmart, CVS, right? Um, Target, all these stores, and this is a this is a billion dollar business, right? And there's no aloe in any of them. Okay, I was reading the story this morning. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you sent it to me. I saw it. Oh, they, I'm good. Yeah. I, I, this is like cra crazy. Yeah. And, and what they were showing is that it's sugar and some other substitute because a a, a gram of aloe. I guess the way to make it here says two hundred forty dollars a gram versus two dollars. If I bring this down, you, you got to see sure, this, folks. Sure. But it's like, this is crazy, man. It's like, because the good th news, I think, is that what probably happened after the uh, the sheet deal, someone probably jumped on this and said, okay, let's look at yeah. other products and say, you know, are, are there actually, are, are we buying what we think we're buying? Sure. Um, and with aloe, of course, folks, you know, uh, uh, depending on, you know, where, where, no, I think aloe plants can grow anywhere really easy. Because they're, they're beautiful, those aloe plants. You just, you, you cut it, you take the aloe right out of it, you know, for sunburns. Um, it has down there with, with the, there we go. There it is there. So aloe powder can cost $240 a kilogram, while the same mixture of, yeah, maltodextrin. Yeah, is a couple dollars. <laughs> and what maltodextrin is, it's, it's, a sh it's, it's sugar and something else. Isn't that crazy, though? It is. What, what blows my mind about it is that you're talking about the major stores in the whole world, not just the United States. It's like, this is, you know, do you think someone would be on that? And, <laughs> someone and I, finally did, but I hear you. And, and I, I, I really can't picture those stores knowingly buying that, that there's no aloe in it. You know what I mean? That would be, like, really bizarre. Sure. No, it's, I mean, you know, they just, did they go through the testing, right? I mean, it's there, but they put their label on it, right? Oh, yeah, that's even see, crazy. That's what, it's all okay. the it's all the store brand ones. Wow. So so whoever was peddling, okay, right the yeah. the the affordable product to the yeah. retailers, letting them name brand it, um, they didn't do their due diligence there probably to make you, sure you, that when they came in and said we can undercut, you yeah. get what you pay for. There's that's a right. get what you pay for. 
Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, you because know, it's it, depending. You know, in Florida, folks, they sell a lot of the stuff. Okay, because oh, they sell a lot everywhere. Yeah, they do. right. I mean, it's, sure. it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So, market-wise, it's a market that uh, is a one-way market. <laughs> Bottom line, we're at highs. Um, NDX. So let's see uh, inside the Dow first. Uh, the strength versus the weakness. Strength inside the Dow is uh, you get Verizon is up 1.3%. Uh, Home Depot's up 1.2, Boeing's up 1.1, and Intel's up 1. Uh, taken away from it is that you get Johnson & Johnson down 1.3, Visa's off 1.1, Merck's uh, down to 2 tenths, and IBM's off uh, 1 tenth. Inside the uh, NDX100, now the NDX100 is the only one that is not at highs. You have the Dollar Tree up uh, 10%, look at that, not, not bad. That's intense. Let me see what's going on with Dollar <laughs> Tree. So Dollar Tree, yeah. Comp sales top estimate. Wow. That's a big number. That's a good store, too, man. That's, yeah. There's no doubt. Um, analog devices is up 5.4. You get uh, Monster Beverage up uh, 4.5, and Ultra Salon's up 3.3. You know, I saw that Ultra Salon on that Vegas strip. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. No? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I, I just, did. And I was, of course, thinking about how we're always looking at it, but they have right. quite a one right next to... The Venetian there. Yep. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. They're, they're, they're huge box stores. And what happens, if you've never been in an ultra salt f salon, folks, what happens is that uh, it, it is a retail place, and all the products they sell, though, the spread is so high priced sure. on it. You, sure. you know what I mean? It's yeah. just, you know, the, those types of products are just uh, meaning the care products. You yeah. Know? I would um, I mean, assume the margins are really high. Yeah. On that just because the prices are so high. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 49. Nasdaq's up 20. SP's are up 7.5. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here. So you get, uh, let's see, Bank of America's flat. Freeport Mac Moran is up 44 cents. You have uh, Medtronic. That's getting smoked. We'll find out what's going on there. That's down 660. Uh, Dollar Tree is the big mover. That's up eight bucks. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, we got uh, Caterpillar up 31 cents. Boeing's up a buck 87. You have uh, Merck down 11. Johnson Johnson's off 152. IBB. So let's go take a look at the IBB. That's flat. Down 97 cents. No big deal there. Marathon Petroleum's up a buck 39. Uh, Tyson Foods got a bounce. That's up 202. Um, if we do go back, let's go look at that oil market. So oil, gas rather, no oil. Okay, CLF we're on. Okay, so oil got up to 49.20 today. Into the downdraft from the 31st. Bottom line is it, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can make it up to the uh, swing point. Doesn't, yesterday was strong for sure. Today is hard to get your head wrapped around it really. Because 40, 49.36 is what it was going into, and 49.20 is at, uh, what it got to today. And what I mean is that that's what, that was kind of a pretty good downdraft on the uh, 31st of October. Yeah. So Thanksgiving, coming into Thanksgiving, we had... I, I know it'll be interesting to see what the market does right tonight. And, and what does... Tomorrow. It's, and it is a bullish week. Tomorrow it's a full day. Statistically, it's a, it's a bullish yeah. week, you know. Larry uh, Pesvento was saying on Friday, it's like three to one, it's positive for that half day of trading, which would make sense as in we're closed. That's a one market day, actually, that we're closed because it's just like the day after Thanksgiving. Half day is just... The the biggest a day very very slow day the big so. the biggest day that I ever saw in the market that it just wasn't even real sure was when we were up in Waltham and uh, it was on a Friday excuse okay? me okay yeah and we were day trading folks okay and <laughs> and, and it was so weird man it, it didn't make sense because it was didn't probably so few participants it, it did and and that normal. was in the bull anyway do you sure. know what I mean this is in the nineties right. And what happened, it didn't matter what button that you hit, <laughs> it was going up. And it was like, this is crazy. Yeah. And the, the cool thing here, and this is important to always keep your head wrapped around, is take your money, okay? Because what ended up happening is that the market went up, I, I forget at that point whether it was 100 points, uh, and that would have been like 300 now. Do you know what Excuse I'm saying? Me. Yeah. But then Monday morning, bang! It opened down 100. Back, yeah. yeah. It, it gave it all. It, but it, and that would be because there's so many participants that aren't a part of that. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was just, oh, we hit this. Oh, we yeah. made money there. Hit this, we made money there. And it, it, and With everything else in context going on, though, this isn't a normal situation, I feel oh, like. Oh, no. You know, in no. terms of you can't just check out for a week right now in terms of going no. from, like, Monday to Monday, right? In terms of normally maybe Thanksgiving, but with new administration, rates, oil, there might be cabinet positions announced that oh, know, you, there, you, there could be a new Treasury Secretary announced in that time, you know. Yeah, and, there will, make, and, and there will be. Right, right and that will right. make things interesting and, for well, sure. Even, the, even this morning, like, I'm looking at the market, I'm saying to myself, okay, so um, we're not going to do TTP, that's for sure. Okay, TPP, so, yeah. What is it? TPP. Trans-Pacific Partnership. Right, TPP, okay. yeah. And then what is on the table now is between Mexico and Canada, so it's like, okay, I'm looking at all these companies that, you know, some of these companies are going to get hit, you know, because yeah, they're... Yeah, we'll they're, see. They're, oh, for sure. Well, uh, you know, yeah. there, there's some p companies that, that that's that's what they do, do you yeah. know what I mean? That's, that's the bottom line. So it's like, okay, everything is not going to continue going a one-way deal. That's know? for sure. Um, <laughs> that is. And, you know, the... 
the dollar being good old king. It's like, okay. Yeah. Um, hey, we'll, we'll find out. But there's, yeah. there's going to be a lot of moving parts, and there's going to be continue to be a lot of moving parts out here. Uh, as to where the winners and the losers come out. Yeah, it'll be interesting. You know, Trump put out a video, I think, yesterday talking about his first 100 days, right. something like that. And so what's listed in there, right? What's not listed in there? Right. Everyone's going through it. Right. But there'll be a constant flow of that stuff. Yeah, there will. The real question is that it, it, you can have the flow, but where are the regulations going to be and what's right. going to actually happen? It's all just happen? speculation, right, right. Exactly. in terms of there's exactly. going to be a constant flow of people saying this and that. Right. But, yeah. So let, let's go look at the uh, TLT for a couple of the Tigers out here. Because bonds, there's no doubt, bonds and the dollar, folks, are, are a big deal. So the TLT is traded at 121.25. Um, if we bring this back, what you're going to see is that, you know, this baby came down hard. Um, you know, it was, it was you know, the, the, the first week we came down with the 70, 70, 77 million shares. Last week we came down with 67 million. Now, it would have been much better... Uh, if we actually got under the low this week of last week. Sure. Because then it would have been a test. It's like, okay, it's, you, yeah. you don't have a test yet. Now, that, that would be the negative in the TLT. The positive in the TLT is that it didn't hit its swing point. You know, the, the major swing is $114.88. It's like, okay, that's some heavy destruction. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but guess what? <laughs> you know, the swing point's important. And, you know, you can, you can see, like, if I bring this back years, see, I can, I can, let me bring this back years, because when you see this, how this shakes out, it's like every single time you think that the bond market is over, you know, like, here, yeah, this, is, this is something major. In, in 2008, right, you can say that, okay, in the middle of the downdraft, bonds go to 123. This, is, this would be the, T, this is the, the TLT, folks, is the 20-plus bond ETF, okay? So it goes to 123, which makes sense, right? Because money's going into bonds. Sure. Then things are getting better, and, the, and it crashes again. It goes, it goes from 123 down to 87. Yeah. And everyone thought at that point that oh, the bond market's over again. Well, guess what? It wasn't over, and it didn't go to the swing point, <laughs> okay? So we do it again, right? It takes another year. You know, basically a year and a half, right? Builds up again, gets up again. Now, and then gets to 132. You know, it's like, okay, you're at 132 in 2012, crashes again, right? Because yeah. down to 101, 20%, right? Now, 20, just to give, give you an idea of what happens here, folks, and I'll bring the, the 10 year up in a second. The amount that the 10 year just went back, bond funds lost 8% last week. Okay. And that's unheard of yeah. for bonds. You, yeah. you don't go into right. bonds, okay? Right. But so, so now watch this. So then we take off again at 101. We get up to 143, and we crash again. But yeah. guess what? We haven't hit the 114. Sure. It's like, really? <laughs> you know, so it's, it, it's like, okay, man. <laughs> so now let's go over to the bond, the 10-year bond for a second, because this is pretty intriguing. So when we just went from... I w I'm not going to take this one because that was a spike higher, but this is, this is the close. Sure. So we went from 130 in the 10-year yep. down to, this was a st statistic from Monday. So today's Wednesday, right? No, Tuesday, okay. So, no, this, this would have been Friday. Sure. Because it was, so to 125.10, yeah. the bond funds took an 8% hit. Yeah. That's pretty that's intense. Move, right? that's, that's, yeah. that's a big number. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 39. Nasdaq's up 15. S&P's are up 5.5. And We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 43. You get the NASDAQ up 15. SPs are up five and a half. And, uh, you know, I, I saw that picture you sent me over from New York this morning, right? They upgraded the totals to 40-plus inches, right? 40-plus. I had to send you a picture. That, right that is unbelievable. There's no doubt about it, man. Hopefully everyone's staying safe and warm. And um... Yeah, we get plenty of tigers up there, man. And yeah, that's yeah. That, what happens is the, the lake effect up there, too. It, yeah, it, that was more like north, northern, western New York, right? I think it was yeah, the 40 right, number, at least. Right. But they were getting snow everywhere. Pretty remarkable. Amazing. Uh, as you come over to our website at TFNN, for, uh, um, folks, uh, and of course, uh, Basil's coming up next. Uh, Basil's going to be doing a workshop, um, Simple Technical Tools to Analyze Charts, a three-part course by a man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to be talking about the Chapman Wave. Yeah, so he, he's broken it down into three segments of 90 minutes, 6 okay. till 7.30. Um, I believe these are Tuesdays, two weeks from today he begins. December 6th. It's hard to believe two weeks from today is December 6th. And then he goes two weeks from then on the 20th. Okay. And then three weeks from then, January 10th, only because Christmas, New Year's, the yep. holidays. Um, so he's broken it down to each one. The first one's going to be a little bit of, you know, a beginner into the okay. peaks and troughs using the Chapman Wave wave count, setting up the technical buy sells. If you've watched, you know, his opening um, Tiger Technician's Hour, yep. just seeing him go through the patterns and then adding two different courses after that, the 20th and the 10th. Of January, so they can sign up. It's two hundred ninety-five dollars. If you're a current subscriber, paying subscriber to opening call, you can enter your information. You'll see that'll be a hundred dollar discount, and all that can, gets confirmed on the next page before you order it. Um, so check it out. And if you're not a subscriber, by ordering it, you get his opening call, and you get it all the way through the five weeks through January tenth. So realistically, if you signed up for it, you know, right now, you would get um, his newsletter for almost like seven weeks included in there because you start getting it the moment you sign up. Pretty good deal. That is a great deal. Yeah, three no classes, doubt. the newsletter, two ninety five, stretched out over seven weeks. Not a bad deal. So, no. people should check it out. Front page TFNN. Two weeks that course will be happening tonight. Oh my God, I know. And we're going into twenty seventeen. Yep, <laughs> I know. Then we're going to be going into twenty eighteen, but we can't think like that. 
It's crazy. It's a crazy number, isn't it? I know. Because I saw 2018 pop up on something today. That's what I was. I remember in the 70s, man, when that song <laughs> 2020 came out, it's like, that doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was born in 1980, and so you think like, oh, 1980 versus 1970, but I know that, you know, to quote kids these days, right? You know, I mean, um, it's to Olivia and Ellie, right? Yes. Yeah. 2016. When was they Olivia were... born? 2003? 2003. 2003. That's what, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking about the other day of like, yeah, they would hear somebody born in like the 1980s and be like, oh my goodness, you're so old, whereas I think I'm lucky oh. to be born in the 1980s because I, I squeaked by the 70s, which I might consider a little old. I know, everything's perspective. Oh, totally. You can I, wrap I, your head around it over and over. I, I got a funny story. So um, when I was just up in South Boston a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. You get a picture, folks. None of us think we get old, right? So I'm with <laughs> a bunch of my friends, right? And of course, now everyone has kids and grandchildren, sure. right? So. And you, you know, you know my friend Johnny Green, right? Okay, I, I, have, sure. I, I have some great friends, for folks, but they're all out of their mind, most of them. Okay, yourself included. Go ahead. Myself included. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, and John lives down here in Florida now, right? So he's an ex Green Beret, you know, all, all this stuff, right? And he's got a he's got a crew, two or three guys that he, they're always working out and all this, right? And one of my other friends, his daughter, um, uh, is down in Florida, right? And John had seen her and knew that she was going to be coming around where he's living, right? And and so they're biking down the street, right? And uh, they start catcalling this girl. I know you, I know you. And the poor girl saying, who is he, who are these old guys? <laughs> who are these old guys? What are they doing? Sure. And so my, my buddy was telling me the story, man. He was <laughs> laughing. We were all laughing, right? So uh, I, I got to meet her. I got to meet her, and she was so funny. And, and yeah. she wasn't; uh, she was only like about twenty-three or twenty-four. Sure. She says, "Yeah, those guys." And as soon as they told me who they were, I says, "I was all right." But it was like, <laughs> "Isn't that funny?" Oh, For sure. <laughs> oh, crazy man! I'm <laughs> telling you. Got it. Okay, so um, Nasdaq. Let's go over to the Nasdaq. So uh, the Nasdaq out here, folks. Okay, th and this is the uh, NQs. Um, this is going to be intriguing to see. You know. It's, it's really unusual when we get every indice at highs and the NQs are not there yet, yeah. you know? And you can see intraday, they keep getting sold down, but guess what? They keep coming back, you know? Yeah. When we were on the show yesterday morning, right? The first, the first. Yeah, quite a move, I know. Gecko. That was like the never, bottom, bottom for the yeah, day. Yeah, never came I back. Know, I'm sure right. you knew, yeah. Yeah. So that was toasted, Yeah, no doubt. Uh, this morning, the same thing happened. What you, ha what you had this morning, too, is this. So watch this. At 8 o'clock, at 8.10 this morning, that was the first sell. I was looking at that. I says, okay, man, that's the first sell. Um, but guess what? As soon as the market opens up, bang, goes by the top side once yep. again. Now, what it did do is that it tested that top side uh, area. You know, it basically it tested that uh, at 10.20. You know, pulled out a little bit. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. Yeah. Um, Amazon, did you see the, uh, this is a trip. Amazon is getting their head wrapped around live sports. Yes, I did see that. Yeah. That's... Yes. And I saw Disney not performing too well on that news as well. Oh, right? my God. Seriously. Rightfully Th so. This I mean, is, this is serious business, man. I've always said that. I mean, live sports, that's one of the only attractions that you really you know, need a TV for maybe, right. you know, I love the Red Zone channel, right. which comes Sundays, right. but when they start breaking down live sports, and that's the one thing that you can't DVR, you can't tape. No. Nobody watches, no. you know, the game the next day after they know the result. That's live. That's interesting. I wonder how, that's where, what do those contracts say? You know, I mean, that's yeah. what I've always said. I don't watch CBS or, or Fox for football anymore. I watch the Red Zone channel. And they're paying massive amounts of money for the rights I know. for a product I used to watch every single all Sunday. Right. And that's not factored in that they've lost all those people and they're still paying for it. Wow. So that's going to change. I mean, it has to. And, of course, with Amazon, is this going to be... The, the way that the article is written, folks, is that the article is written that they're going after this just to give their prime viewers... More things, so it's like, are oh, we gonna yeah, get this for, for nothing? Sure. That'd be amazing. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Because think about it. Then you order more stuff from Amazon. Oh. They have a unique thing where they could almost, they could almost compete with Netflix at like a loss. 
if I they know. got everybody in Prime, which they're not out to do, I'm sure. But yeah. when you just wrap your head around, Netflix can't, you know, just supplement that business by no. providing content without taking in the revenue for it. Whereas right. Amazon takes in so much more revenue once they get them on Prime. As soon as we get off, I'm going to Amazon. Have buttons in the houses, right? Where everything just gets ordered. Yeah. I mean, seriously, right. Netflix right. can't have buttons in your houses and profit off that. Whereas Amazon, if you get Prime, maybe right. they do. That's factored into what they're spending, I'm sure. It has to, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Yeah. And you know what gets intriguing here, folks, is not just the profits, just the cash flow. The, sure. The, the cash flow is astronomical. Yeah. And, you know, of course, interest rates are small right now, but as interest rates go up, that cash flow is worth a fortune. Like, the broker-dealer community and the banking community, well, the, the broker-dealer community more than the banking community, meaning that brokerage accounts, the most amount of money was always made on the money in the accounts, not the trading. Even okay. when trading was twenty or thirty dollars a trade, sure. It was the it was the spread of the money because of interest. Yeah, yeah because of interest Which hasn't been around. Yeah, yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Dow right now is up forty one. Nasdaq's up sixteen. S and P's are up six. We're gonna be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is uh, up 40. You get the NASDAQ up 16. S&Ps are up uh, five and a half. And uh, we get a question in the den, and what the question is is that, uh, hey, Tom, what price level on gold do the miners start to hurt on earnings these days? 
The, so let's go over and take a look at the gold contract. So this is a, this would be a, this is a fundamental deal, folks. Okay, um, gold to twelve oh eight. They they have gold right now. So you have two different prices in gold. You got the, you get the cash price of gold, and the way that mine is. And this is what you have to watch when they're actually reporting. So the cash price is the price that they actually get it out of the ground for, right? Sure. That price is one price, but then the all-in price is the most important price because the all-in price has to do with you get it out of the ground. What ends up happening is that you're digging big holes in the ground, and gold companies have to put that back and make it sure the after after effect. Sure. Okay. Now that after effect adds 150 to 200 dollars ounce of gold on a continual basis. Wrangell Resources going back, used to be the only one that used to put an all-in price. And Wrangell right now um, is running at about, I believe it's about 1050, you know, with all-in, everything. Uh, you'll see a lot of cash prices that are, that are out there that are pretty inexpensive. Um, but to answer the question, if gold stays really above 11, 1100, they're still making money. You know, that's still a lot of money. Because some of these, like if you go over to Gold Corp, here, I'll show you. This this gets interesting with Gold Corp. Gold Corp used to have the most, one of the most inexpensive gold mines, Red Lake. And then what they did, and we had owned Glamis Gold also, and then they bought Glamis Gold. And Glamis Gold was a great gold mine, um, but what happens is that that was a very, in, very expensive one in Mexico, right? Sure. So that upped. Gold Corp used to be. Uh, getting gold out of the ground at like two hundred forty dollars an ounce. Yeah, right. And then they bought this other one, so that it's brought it up. Kept growing. That yeah. kept growing. You know, so bot bottom line, gold would have to go a lot lower for these companies to actually lose money. Because what does happen also is this. So check this out. The most expensive um, expense that that gold miners have is energy and cement. And cement's very inexpensive now okay. because it crashed. Sure. You know, energy came down, but yeah. you know, so those are the two biggest. Uh, that would make sense. Expenses. Yeah. Oh, let's go over. This is, this is why. we got to look at this. Dries, okay? This is a psycho stock. Okay, so this is dry ships, folks, okay? And one of the tigers, we, they had us bringing this up. This is like, this is, I can't wait to see this chart. <laughs> look at this chart. Yeah. This is sad. It so, is. So the amount of money that was lost on dries, folks. Okay, so picture. Or made by some. Yeah, if they got out of it. Yeah, yes. no, very Not few, made. but um, there was okay. definitely money made there, too. Okay, sure. so watch this, folks. Last November 10th, dry ships is at four dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah, it goes up to fifteen sixty. Within three days, it's up to a hundred and two dollars. Now, what happened is that they halted the stock. They said, "Okay, enough's enough." And what they had done on November 1st, folks, is they went fifteen to one reverse stock split. Okay. And then what ended up happening is that they halted the stock. Stock opens, that's the 15th. Stock opens on the 17th at $51. So it gets cut in half. Closes the day at $11. And now you're trading back at $8. And here, watch this. I'll show you something that's just so scary. Just picture it. I mean, there's people that bought that. Oh, definitely. You know. Yeah. This is just, this is the craziest. That's the, so this stock went from... $190,000. Yeah, that's because that was the 10 to 1 right? yeah. or whatever. Or oh, you probably did, a few oh, from that. Over right? and over yeah. again. Yeah. It was over and over again. So $190,000 a share, folks. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen the, the million marker along the right axis in a while. You I know, mean, that's 0. 0.2 million you this know, is, for the price. This yeah. is what ended up happening. I'm doing this live on the air. Yeah. And I said, that can't be right, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, you know, it was. And then that, I had to wait for the break and actually look at it sure. again. Do you yeah. know what I mean? This is 100, you know. <laughs> Needless to say. Needless uh, to say. Isn't that sick? 200000 down to zero. I guess that's the yeah. same percentage-wise when you go to 100 from, to zero, right? It is. I mean, I mean share is. price means nothing. It's only a reflection of your total value in terms of that's, still starting. And, and how, do, how do they stay in business? That's, what, yeah. that's the real bottom line. So let's go back to the NQs. Someone just hit the NQs again. Um, yep. They came in. So we just went from, uh, I think you just hit them for 10 points. Yeah. Yeah, 48.78 to 48.68. Uh, and, okay, so now this this just broke its swing point, too. 
So now, what, where you, the target now, folks, would be 48.37. So that's 34 more points down. And where I'm going, you can see it, the, the open yesterday, it's the last time we had any juice. Yeah. So we'll see whether, you know, it can get, get, get going. Um, okay, so there's a question about the swing point. So I have this on a 10 minute chart. All the swing point is, okay, is a change of direction, you know? So what you had there is like, if you're looking at this chart, at uh, 8, 8.50 this morning, you had a, you know, you were at 48, what is that called, 48.70, okay? And then it changed direction, went higher again, then it went lower again. Okay, so that's all that is. It's not that that's all that sure. is. Swing points are important, uh, but it's important when you break them with volume, too. Because if you break a swing point that's higher with volume, you're going higher, man. I mean, it's, it's real. And so the theory is that the, the, on the way down, that there's more supply than demand. On the way up, you're saying that, hey, I'm paying a higher price, so I should have more volume because sure. if it's a supply and demand equation, sure. you should have to pay more money if there's less supply and you have more demand. You know, on the way down, it's just the opposite. Um, if we look, I can make this a little bit easier. If we just put this, uh, we, we do the cues, and you can change this um, and just put this on. And this is, this is the way that you really should start it, just to start it on the daily. The swing point that this everything's trying to go after right now is the hundred and nineteen dollars and um, sixty-five cents. You know, so when I say that something is either a failure or, or it makes it, what happens is that you, you look at the swing point, and so what we're going to be dealing with out here today probably is the larger swing point from November 10th, which is 118.38. And the reason that would be a, a more important swing point is because of the way that we came down there. You know, we went over it yesterday, dramatically lighter volume. If we close underneath it today, that'll be saying, hey, guess what? That seller is still up here. And, you know, in the other indices, you know, it, it hit highs and, and it made it. Uh, the NQs, for some reason, they just haven't been able to make it. And we'll see, uh, let's go see what the IBB is, is doing here. Yeah, the, well, so, so since we brought it up, the IBB is down two yeah. more points. Yeah, so they hit the IBB too, simultaneously. Yeah, the IBB just went from a 285 to 283. And that also, so this is a good one because this is clearer that you can see we broke the swing on an intraday basis uh, from noontime uh, two days ago. Yeah. And you broke it with volume. So you could do a price projection uh, into lower price there. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dial right now. Excuse me. It's up 23. Nasdaq's up 7. S&P's up 3.5. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Direction's daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. 
As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up by 29. NASDAQ's up 8. S&P's are up 4. And, um, you know, what's going to get really interesting here is... Uh, if, in fact, we go into the red when the whole rest of the world was in the green, you know, yeah. um, you had the, uh, Asia in the green last night, Europe in the green. And that's even after the, uh, um, you know, that big earthquake. earthquake in Japan. Yeah, thankfully, yeah. no tsunami pretty much. I no, believe, right? huge. Yeah. Right. Pretty intense, though. No, no doubt sure. about that. Uh, tomorrow, you're going to have the uh, the Fed uh, come out with the market minutes from the last meeting. Okay. And uh, I don't think there's going to be any real surprises. Um, but what, what, well, look at this. Oh my God. Yeah. That's the first time we've seen that. We just brought up the probabilities and now they're all at 100%. So that, that's at 100% for December 14th. Yes. So now let's go to the next meeting. So how is this? We go yeah, what we were doing previously. So, yeah. not, so this column would be that they hike here and then. Okay. Are hiking again, right? Because right. this is one hike, 0.5 yes. to 0.75. Right. But what are the odds they have two hikes? Which basically, I mean, realistically, there's there's a two percent chance, one out of fifty times, that they're saying that they're going to hike at fifty basis points. Right. Which is pretty intense. Now that, that you know that's actually factored in mathematically. But so this is where even by March, there's like a one out of four chance that, that we have two two yeah. rate hikes. And by June of next year, we're, we're approaching the 50-50, where we have right. two rate hikes, which would, that shouldn't be out of the realm. No, right? no. And, you right. know, the only reason these start to go down from here is just because then we're in the realm of three rate hikes coming into November and December. Yeah. I mean, one out of three right now, thir you know, uh, 13 months into the future, we have three rate hikes. Right. That's, that's insane. It's 13 months out of three oh, rate hikes a lot. in that's, this environment. That's quick. That's but the, that's a realistic percentage. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Pretty wild. You stay right there, folks. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next. And uh, the way this market is trading, there's no doubt there's going to be action out here. <laughs> um, you know, cause so uh, I'm sure Basil's going to be talking about he loves these even numbers. And uh, that, I was looking. I yeah. Saw, I saw the headlines already coming across 19,000. Right. And they had the hats on this morning. Now, this is, you know, it's wild. Just wait till 20. I, yeah. Well, th that's the first time I saw the hats was at 10,000. I okay. saw it this morning. I says, oh, and this one ended up happening. Maybe they had 5,000 hats, but you just No, wanted, they probably did. No, no, that I saw No, but I know, I know. So yeah. when they, and just so you know, when it hit 10,000, that was it. It didn't hit 10,000 again for a long period of time. Okay. It hit it, gave it up. Okay. And yeah, I know. So when I saw it this morning, I said, oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> you know, it, it just because. Oh, they're real deal, 20,000 or 19 even. Yeah. Well, 20 makes more sense to me than 19. It it's like when I saw the 19, I said, 19, that's kind of uh, funny. Still, I yeah. saw, you know, 19. Oh, I was we were just below 18 to put it. Yeah. How many days right. ago? This month. So. That is the We intense. can't have two celebrations, three 
two weeks apart and then be too big, but 20,000, that'll be a big one. Yeah. Get no, you down 20,000 head on. Oh my God. Unreal. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, 231 million on the NYSE right now. And we had tr tremendously sh shot volume yesterday. We're at 529 on the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ, that has some volume. That's. That's not bad. Yeah. That's that's not bad. You know, we'll, we'll see uh, how this uh, NQ operates. The the NQ is the one that uh, looks like. Well, here, let's go look at the S and P. They 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 must have hit the S and P simultaneously because they don't. Hit, no, yeah, they did. They don't hit just one of them. Yeah. So uh, the S and P also they hit that from uh, twenty one ninety nine to twenty one ninety five. That broke the swing also, and that sets up. Now, see, the S and P is a little bit different because. We had, it's going to be hard to break 2194. That was right around yesterday. Yeah, surprise. exactly. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Man, Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And, of course, then uh, Swim Lessons, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, and, of course, uh, Andy Heck. Back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. If you're traveling, folks, be safe. Okay, for Thanksgiving. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.